Yo, what's going on my heroes, my villains, my fellow broadsiders, and everybody else on YouTube. It's your bro me, the gal. Back at it again with another broadside video. Let's get it. Alrighty, welcome back heroes. So, with the popularity of broadside on the rise, um, they just minted out on OpenSea. Congratulations to the team and everybody who bought one. I know a lot of people buy NFTs off, off of hype. So I'm like sure that like maybe like 33% of people who got into this project are not aware of what's actually happening here. So in this video, I just want to read this article that many people may not have come across or taken the time to read. So I'm going to read this article so people can have a deeper insight on what this project is all about. So without further ado, let's breeze into it. Upcoming NFT broadside targets the New York Times bestseller list by Ian Dean, published two days ago. A unique narrative NFT project has a story to tell. Upcoming NFT broadside is a unique new project that is aiming to build a complex and an engaging story world, and it could just make the New York Times bestseller list. Like all good NFT projects, if you're one of the 7,290 anonymous heroes of this story, you could be a part of a new bestseller. We've been talking about NFTs for a while, and my guide, What Are NFTs, goes into detail, but essentially, non-fungible tokens are a way to register digital files on a blockchain and create scarcity. This isn't the first time Broadsiders co-creator Vector Meldrew put together a list of the best NFT games for Creative Block. The DJ and artist has sold out collections with Bonhams, Nifty Gateway, and Foundation to name just some successes. Co-creator Charlie Stratford Rex, the author behind Broadside Story, has is a long-term NFT collector and writer. One of the advantages of NFTs is buyers can own a work of art and its uses. And broadside NFTs will come with either CCO, license-free, or full commercial rights. Take a look at the broadside website for more details. If you get a broadside NFT, you could develop your own fiction, decide how your character is used, and more. You can truly begin to tell your own stories, but also, so perhaps can others, which we will go into a little more later. An upcoming NFT, Years in the Making. There will be 11 episode NFTs and artifacts dropped to each owner of a broadside, telling a deep and involved story of a decentralized future. The story took creators Stratford Rex and Mel Drew 10 years to develop and became an NFT because traditional media failed to grasp how this story could be told. Stratford Rex tells me he's had many meetings with DreamWorks to develop the script, but the animation studio had cold feet about a film with an anonymous hero and couldn't make the project work. I wanted to make this very fun, fictional book, and we wanted the main character to be anonymous and sort of decentralized. So then it was in development at DreamWorks for a while, but they didn't really understand what a decentralized anonymous hero is, explained Stratford Rex. I had the story about these kids in the future playing this weird AR game and they decided to pirate it and hack it, says the writer of Broadside. It all goes horribly wrong, of course, and they're forced to think about abundance and scarcity and decentralization and centralization, but in a very personal journey, a hero's journey, with an action story arc, action movie story arc. NFT Broadside could be a bestseller. This story is told as an NFT book, released in chapters that features an owner's specific character, both in the text and on the cover. Once all 11 episodes are dropped, owners can burn these chapters into a one-of-one -one book NFT featuring their broadside character on the cover. Owners can print and sell this book, and each one will feature an ISBN number, so you can sell it on Amazon, which is where broadside gets ambitious. All 7,290 possible versions of Broadside will have different ISBN numbers. We can hack the New York Times bestseller list if we get everyone to start selling these on the same day. With so many, it's going to look more like a DDoS attack, jokes Stratford Rex. He continues, Let's make this into one of the most old school publishing possible with the community that's growing around Broadside. 
Let's do something crazy to put this story about decentralization into a completely different context, a completely different medium at the end of phase one. Who really owns a broadside? There's a playful approach to broadside that can be found as Stratford Rex discusses the underlying themes of the project that plague NFTs in general. The reason for offering both CCO, effectively Creative Commons, license-free art, and commercial licenses for broadside is to cause debate and focus the attention onto how NFTs are used. There's been a big debate in NFTs about full commercial rights versus CCO, begins Mason, explaining Meldrew bought some big names to the broadside project, including Xcopy, CryptoPunk number 5046, and Rekt Guy. Some broadside NFTs will feature art from these major NFT artists, but they'll be on CCO contracts. That means you can go and open a restaurant and make a movie or do whatever you want with it, adds the writer. So can everyone else. It's not just exclusively, exclusively yours. Broadside, the story, will dive into a future of decentralization, but the NFT itself, right now, is asking questions about how far decentraliz <laughs> decentralization can go, what communities can do, and create around these unique ownership and copyright models. There's a tension at play to owning a broadside, says Stratford Rex. As the models ensure you can do whatever you wish with your broadsider, and those already involved are developing video games and new fiction. But there is a tussle between CCO and full commercial licensing, with different broadside NFTs holding one or both models. Stratford Rex clarifies, the only tension there that we had to play with was your ability to do anything. As you as much as you can with your broadsider without affecting what anybody else can do with theirs. Broadside shows ambition. It's quite, it's been quite a while since I've seen an NFT project with quite as ambitious as broadside. In some respects, the current downturn in the value of NFTs in the crypto winter, the scene is suffering means that creative NFTs like broadside that look at new ways to use non fungible tokens may have gone under the radar a year ago as all that interested people was flipping NFTs and not collecting. Artist Vector Meldrew has his view. We saw that crazy, low effort stuff. People just getting stuff out because they knew the market was hot and people ready to flip. And it just led to a mania. We felt that a lot of the things missing from there was starting with a story, which we feel is the root of all good NFT projects or all good IP. So we definitely wanted to be story led and then we wanted to take our time on the arc. Tellingly, Meldra says, even if we wanted to, we couldn't have really meant it during that period. That's known for that kind of work. NFTs such, such as Pixelmon, because I just want it to be right. And that's why it's taken so long. Broadside has been years in the making. The Rex Meldrew duo have worked together since school, and it shows in their passion for what Broadside represents. Hopefully, it does change people's opinions on what NFTs are, says Meldrew thoughtfully. Broadside is minting now, and you can find the project on NFT Marketplace OpenSea and follow along with the community on the Broadside Twitter. So if we head on over to the Broadside Twitter page at Broadside NFT, which you might want to follow, uh, we will go to the OpenSea collection from here so we can make sure that it's the official page. And let's check out a few things real quick. So as we'll see that it is sold out, all 7,290 are have been bought or minted out. So let's view the collection and just take a look at a few things. So we will see that it's currently done 106 um, ETH in total volume. The floor price is currently 0.114 ETH. Um, there are 3,145 individual owners with 4% currently listed on the marketplace. And there's 43 unique owners. So I uh, just, just wanted to check these things out for the record. It might be interesting to look back on pre-reveal which is tomorrow midday um as we'll see the floor price is uh, up 102 000. okay anyway i don't know what that number is uh but it's up a lot <laughs> from the mint uh percentage wise um you see the charts here for the record we're just scrolling so we can see what's going on here so there are sales um 
currently happening. If you look at the owner distribution, it's pretty pretty healthy if you ask me. 50% um, of owners have just one broadsider. 32% have two to three. 16% have 44 to 10. 1% 1 has 1 to 25. Less than 1% has 26 to 50. And nobody has more than 51 broadsiders. So um, since we're on layer one and we have metadata, we can check out the sales. Uh, it'll take a few seconds to load up. So you can see one was bought a minute ago or two minutes ago. Another was bought 11 minutes ago, 12 minutes ago, 17 minutes ago, 26 minutes ago. So this project is currently um, either in hype phase or people are just, you know, it just minted out. So people are buying the floor now because not everybody got a chance to mint. And uh, you, can, you can see what's happening here. There's a lot of sales. And I predict that they will continue to sell throughout the reveal. And once the reveal happens, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Could be all pandemonium. Um, that's when it's really going to go down. So... Let's check out the activity real quick. Okay, so yeah, it just shows the sales and stuff. So you can you can come on OpenSea and check this out for yourself. I think the window of opportunity is still open before reveal. Uh, I don't know what this project is going to do price wise, but I know that it has a it has a great future ahead of itself. It's a lot of potential, as it said in the article. This has been ten years in the making uh, by people who care about the space in this project. So. Um, yeah, don't sleep on this project. Do your research, definitely. But now may be the best opportunity to get in, if I'm not mistaken. So with that, uh, let, let's check out one more thing and then we'll call it a video. And here's just an interesting post I came across. It looks like the guy is a board Ape owner, Max. Let's check him out. Yeah, 44K followers. He might just be a board Ape uh, holder. But he asks... Are you still thinking about thinking about buying a, a broadsider NFT? Look how many blue chip holders already are here. Please don't miss this. So you see Clone X, MeBits, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Cool Cats, and Board Ape Yacht Club. On the far right, you will see um, how many it is that they hold. Let me see. It says NFTs held in broadside 139 for Clone X, 105 for MeBits, 124 for Mutant Apes, 105 for Cool Cats. And 68 of the board eight yacht clubs. Uh, so yeah, you can you can uh, read this chart for yourself. But it looks like there's some cross cross. You know what I'm saying? Like the big wigs or the big blue chips kind of are aware of this project. So um, you know it could be nothing or it could be something. Just thought that was an interesting post. And with that, we can move on. And that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing and liking for more broadside content like this, this, this. So yeah, there you have it. Um, as much information about broadside as I can really give. Uh, we got the reveal tomorrow, which should be a most fun day for people with broadsiders. Um, yeah, man, I think this project has potential and the journey will be fun. It's not always about the price, but you know, price is always a factor, but yeah, just don't, don't look at the price and think it's successful or not successful just off of that. Cause, uh, this project is ambitious as you've heard in the article and they are just getting started. So with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say ever is financial advice because I am learning just like you. I am just your friendly neighborhood genius. <laughs> Sharing his thoughts and opinions on this most interesting project known as Broadside. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt because things could change, change, change. And with that, thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and huddle strong. And remember that not all heroes wear capes. Later.